Okay, so we got the uh, the drums and the hub assembly here off of the my 1970 F100, and I don't know how you say the term swage or swedge, but essentially the top of the wheel stud here has been crushed back down so it flares out. Uh, so to get these off, you either have to get one of the special, basically a hole saw, but a, a bit that goes over the stud and grinds the metal out there, and then you can pop them out pretty easily. Uh, or a shot press, but if you're using a shot press, you have to be careful because it is a lot of pressure and it will just bend the hub assembly. So what we have, let me see if I can get up in there. So we have a piece of pipe we cut to fit the hub assembly because you have to support it underneath or you will just bend it or break it. So it's cut pretty perfectly to fit right there to support directly underneath where we're going to push this wheel stud out. Um, so we'll do that real fast. So if you look at the bottom of the wheel stud, you can see it pushing right through. And the hub, or the, well, in this case, the drum is not flexing at all, and the hub shouldn't be either. And we did not remove the swedge or swage or whatever beforehand, so as long as you have it properly supported, it should push out pretty easily. But easily, I mean, with several tons of pressure. Couple in there. So this is the uh, piece of pipe we cut just to fit up. That one's kind of on the uh, lip. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of curls up in there anyway. And then the wheel studs, it's kind of hard to tell, but that top little edge used to be flared out. Sometimes it actually rips the edge off and sometimes it just crushes it back into place. But that is how we were getting them out in the hub. So far appears to be fine. When we get to these ones, there's another little notch right here. So we're just gonna have to recut our brace so that it pushes evenly on at least three good points here on either side, on the different sides of the wheel stud so it doesn't warp or break the hub. All right, so again, you can see this again swage or swage, I don't know what it's called, but the flare on the top right there. So again the underside we got our nice cut up piece of steel pipe, which is cut with an angle grinder, just to support the bolt on three sides. It's got three nice even points of pressure. This the whole machine will rock, but it's pretty pretty stable right now. And then we just have the hub and drum assembly braced on the metal in the two by four. So that should Should be the last one, so it'll the hub should be free after this. Yeah, it's still, I think it's still sitting straight. We'll see. All right. Okay, looks like it's going nicely. under some pressure this time but you can see the wheel stud slowly starting to go oh, just like that <laughs> all right so that was the last one so obviously it popped loose I will have to push it out of the hub a little more we'll see if it came out or not but don't do that but it's out of, <laughs> out of the drum now so <laughs> that's a start I guess <laughs> See what we got here. Yeah, so we'll just finish pushing it out. Oh, never mind. It is loose. Just hit it out with a hammer, but yeah. Thank you. Just... And yeah, I'm gonna go with eyeballing it. it. Looks like it's still flat, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> we, it doesn't look like we broke the the hub. So there you go. If you don't have the tools, or you don't have the special bits anyway to remove them anymore, shop press will do it. All right, so we started pressing the new wheel studs back into the hub here, and the way we're doing it is again with the press. But I see these two sockets want to balance the the hub, and the other to um, hold the where we're pushing the stud through. So to hold that. 
So pretty simple. Make sure you put them in the right way. Set the wheel stud in. Sockets, make sure it's deep enough, which it is. It's gonna press right through like that. Get that lined up. And then the wheel stud is, um, or the hub is kind of routed here, so the the press is hitting the edge of it. So I have a little cylinder, or a little piece of metal tubing, just to push down on it. So I'll get that started. Once that nice, is nice and tight, start pressing down. See it slowly drop right in. And there it goes. You'll feel when the jack starts getting uh, extra hard to press all of a sudden. You put, it should be in. And it's in. You see that for all of them. So, the uh, hub here is a tight fit back into the new drum, um, so it should, the wheel studs should all be straight in the hub. So what we're going to do is put a couple nuts on here. If you have all five, that's better. I only had two right now, so we're going to do it in sets. But basically, just start slowly cranking so it comes up relatively evenly, and then switch them to the other, other wheel studs and just keep working it. It should suck itself nicely right back in until it's all tight. We have one we already did here. So that was just, it's nice and smooth now. That was just from tightening down the lug nuts on it. So pretty simple. That should suck it right back in. You don't necessarily need a press for this part. If you do, be careful, because if you push too hard, you're gonna damage the drum or the hub, and then you're gonna start all over. So that's what we're gonna do. Not like that. <laughs> Like I said, it's kind of off right now, so it's up higher on that side, it's still sunken back here, so we'll loosen this one up. Maybe. There it goes. And we'll switch this side and just keep doing it until it's all the way up. Pretty simple. 